I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. Audience night. How are you guys doing? Pretty well. Pretty well. Yeah. Very cold. But yeah. Good. Jumping straight into things. Last time we spoke to you guys was at the Knuckle Pop Show Burning Audio as well. Since then, you guys have released your debut album, Be Nothing, which is absolutely incredible. Thank you very much. How has the reaction been for you guys? Whether it's from fans, whether it's been from media. It's been crazy. Um, I can't really describe it to be honest. Like we, we kind of went in with. Not really know what to expect, but uh, it's been phenomenal on every front. Yeah, pretty much we just didn't expect like like the reaction that that's, it's had you know over the, over the past few months. So yeah, we're really grateful for mm. you know, such a positive reaction. Yeah. With all this new material that you guys have put out, is there any song in particular off the album that you just love to play, or is there just a favourite track for you to listen to? Uh, um, I like playing Burn You Up um, live. The one I like to listen to, um, maybe this song is dedicated to nobody. I like that one to listen to. Uh, I, like, I like playing Kill Your Conscience actually, that's a good one. Uh, and Program Blast is cool. I, I like playing them all to be honest. It's like, they're all fairly new to us still, so it's, it's really fun. Something you've started doing, especially with fans like yourselves, if you've been taken to Twitter and asking some of your fans, if you could ask you one question, what would it be? So we picked some of our best ones. Lucy asks, where is one of your favourite places to play? Uh, what, in, in the UK? Europe? Anywhere in the UK. Uh, Glasgow, uh, Manchester, London, Chicago is great. Uh, Cologne, Cologne, yeah, in Germany is amazing. Um, Derby, Derby. So this has become like my new most favourite question ever since I asked. Ever since I like asked people to send me ones, you've asked what's your favourite type of dog. <laughs> I haven't got a favourite type, I just like them all. I just love dogs. That's a good answer. I just love dogs so much. Answer. Yeah, there's so many dogs I don't like. Um, I have a, uh, a cockapoo, which is... Uh, sorry, not a cockapoo, a cavapoo. like cockapoo, a bit smaller. Uh, I like that dog, because it's... Uh, I like staffies, I think they get a bad rap. Yeah. And I like boxers. I, I love husky dogs. They're my yeah. favourite dog. Blue eyes. I have to have blue eyes as well. Huskies are Husky beautiful. with blue eyes. My yeah, they're beautiful. And finally, Adele asks if you could travel back in time to any time period, what would it be? Okay, so. Do I only get to pick one? Yes. Oh. I mean. You can give two answers, but what would be like your final answer? Okay, well, dinosaurs would be sick to check them out because, yeah. like, who doesn't want to see dinosaurs? We don't even know if they're lizards or, like, they have feathers yet. So, I want, I'd like to, like, crack that nut. And then, I think it'd be insane to just go back to, like, sort of the Bronze Age and just just terrify people with my iPhone. Just be like... Are you allowed to take iPhones, though? Yeah, you can take well, whatever you have on your person with yeah, you. So, okay. you could be carrying uh, a rucksack full of sort of modern technology. Well, I do that and make them all think that I'm their god, uh, <laughs> terrify them, and then leave, and then hope that like there'd be loads of cave drawings of me with like, my iPhone. <laughs> with your iPhone. <laughs> That's what I do. I think I might have just been the most in-depth answer to <laughs> uh, For me, it'd probably be like, I would love to see like, I know as bad as it sounds, but like maybe like around the world war. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Yeah, just to see, like, just to actually see it happen. I know it sounds bad, but no, I'm definitely. really, really interested yeah. in like, the, like, the whole world war, wars and stuff. So, yeah, like 1920s or whatever. You guys have had an absolutely massive year this year. It's been absolutely incredible. 
what can we expect from Rossmanno 2017? A lot more touring. Um, touring. Yeah, loads of touring. Um, we're going to start writing a bit. Festivals. Um, it, it all stuff to be announced. Yeah, we've got a lot of tours to be announced. We've got the four year strong tour. In February, uh, yeah. February. We've got the Europe, we've been on the Europe side of it as well, which is going to be really cool. Good place we've never been before. Yeah. Um, where was that one going to? Been... All over, like up in Scandinavia and stuff. Yeah, and Scandinavia. So yeah, um, lots, lots of stuff. It's looking forward to hanging out with those guys actually, because we met them before. So, yeah. really nice guys, aren't they? Cool dude. Can't wait to them. And then it's Coco again, massive show. Yeah. And then the rest is just, it's booked up, but we can't really say. Just yet. Most of the year, to be honest. Yeah. Well, hopefully, we will catch you guys at your front of the year. I wish yeah. you guys all the luck for the show tonight. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much.